Okay, got less than a minute left before I can actually get into the open beta. So, for those watching this in the archives, uh, the open beta is officially out um, starting today. I'll, I'll make sure to have this video and the next video uploaded uh, by the time um, I'm done with the stream. But yeah, open beta is uh, free. You don't have to have it pre-ordered or anything. It's open to the public uh, for at least the next two days, uh, 24th through, I think, the 26th. I don't think it's to the 20th. I, I, I'm, I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah, weekend beta. <laughs> so there you go. You got all the information up top right. But yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting, so forgive me. Oh, we're logging in. Oh, snap. Okay, so welcome to this uh, two-part peak play of uh, Diablo, uh, not Immortal, <laughs> Diablo 4 uh, open beta. So we're checking out pretty much to see the main mechanics of the game and see if we like the combat, how it looks, does it run well, uh, is there any major issues, at least when it comes to the gameplay. Now, we can't judge the game from beta wise uh, on microtransactions or any type of monetization so I don't plan on seeing any of that stuff because they probably won't roll that out until the game is out in uh, June so until we're waiting we can at least play the game and see if we even like playing uh, Diablo 4 which crossing my fingers hopefully I can play the whole entire game and not be inhibited by microtransactions and just enjoy the game. So we'll see. Hopefully it won't be like Diablo Immortal, that piece of shit. So we'll see. Uh, transcribe voice chat. You can do that stuff. Screen readers. You got text to speech stuff, which is very dangerous. Unless you have like, yeah, you can probably do it with your clan or something like that. But uh, I would uh, not have text to speech unless uh, you know the people that are typing in the chat. Okay, I think that's good. Next. Uh, font scaling. So you can have it small or you can have it large. We'll do it large because everyone on Twitch is blind. So <laughs> we'll do that. Uh, colorblind mode. No, we don't need it. I don't know anyone that is colorblind, so it's not a thing. Then no, not. I'm not colorblind either, so I don't need to do that. Uh, screen shake effect, we'll keep it on. Uh, combat hit flash. This is, oh, this one, able hit flashes that characters are hitting the monster, the player's damage. I don't know if I will like that or not. We'll find out. You can do reduce strobing, highlight player when obscured. That's important because we need to know where we are behind pillars and shit. Uh, swap left and right sticks. Don't need to do that. Cinematic subtitles on, uh, text low, text local. Oh, just a yeah, local language. Uh, speech local English. Oh, do they only have it in English? Or does that change depending on the language? It's probably just English. They probably only have the English voice acting for now. Yeah, this says subtitles though. You do font scale, color scaling, background opacity. I don't know if I should make it a little bit opaque. Yeah, not too sure. Auto progress dial game dialogue. Okay, it's automatically selected. That's good. I like that. Hopefully, I can make multiple characters too. If I can't, we'll find out. Yeah, here's our first cutscene. Enjoy. Shut up! 
Innocent. Run! This is the cutscene where they uh, announced it. This is the announcement trailer. Blessed Akarat, my eternal life protects me. My divine host. Hey, look at me! All the gold we want is right there. No, I, I just came here for knowledge. They're coming! I know. Get over here! No. Reach the seal. Get us through that door. Oh, all right, help me. By, by, by three, they come. By three, thy way opens. Blood show. Make any sense? Blood. Blood. Blood is the key. B blood is the key. Ah, what? I need two of you. No. Go. I'll hold them. Go. So it, it says the, the blood of the willing goes. Uh. You gotta be kidding me! Cheer up. Gold splits better three ways instead of four. It must be hidden here somewhere. Read this. Oh. By three they come, by three thy way opens, by the blood of them. Willing. Hail, hail the, the creator. Ha, oh, hail the daughter of, oh no, 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 no. What about the coin? What's it say? This is forbidden. This is a summoning. I cannot speak this. Don't lie to me. We came here for treasure. What is this place? I, I, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe, maybe it's a temple, or, or a tomb, or... It's a gate. Life protects me. The divine wisdom guides me. Though my path is brought to darkness, guide my soul to thy sacred place.
of the willing. We call thee home. Come. Blessed I believed that eternal light protects me, that divine wisdom guides me. Open your eyes. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light. There is no light here. You came to the darkness for knowledge. you seek is here. Surrender. Speak the words. Call her home. By three, they come. By three, Thy way opens by the blood of the willing. We call thee home. That's a way to open a game. <laughs> uh, one thing that like Blizzard has always been good at is cutscenes, especially opening cutscenes. It's like even though Bethesda as a company has fallen apart over the past like five to six years, like they have atrociously fallen fallen apart with uh, quality internal stuff and there's there's a bunch of different things like everything for bethesda has been falling apart i'm still at least excited about diablo 4 i'm kind of hoping to stay excited so look these looks like to be the uh the people we can start so i gotta choose uh who i'm gonna play as during the beta So, without further ado, I'm going to start out the beta with Barbarian, because that that is, like, my the class I like. And then I'll probably choose either Necromancer or Druid. It's one of them. Hmm. Female, male. Hmm. So these are presets, if I'm correct. 
Mm. And you can also cust. Oh, this is the first though. So th I think next to uh, sadly Diablo Immortal, this is the first like actual Diablo that has like a full customization feature for what your character looks like. So you can choose the overall like palette of your skin. Not make them too white. Eye color. Man, you can change the fucking eye color, which seems to be. I guess since some of these are blue, crystal, light green, medium green, dark green, light blue. Is that light blue? I guess natural. I guess those are like your natural colors. Black, medium brown. Do they have a dark brown? I guess that's a weird dark brown. So you got that. You got the hair. Let's see if we can make him bald. Yeah, we're gonna try and recreate me, but as a barbarian. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shit! It actually kind of has my, uh, you know, like mine. Like, oh, there's no games out there that has my type of goatee, though, because my goatee is it's thick, it's full, and it's, like, right here. But, um, I guess that's the closest one to it. I'm seeing if there's anything closer than that, but I think that might be the closest. That's that's pretty much my type of beard that I grow out if I do full, grow a full beard. Or that. <laughs> that one, too. That's, that's how my beard looks when it's, like, fully grown out. A little bit longer on at the bottom. That's like your actual goatee, like a full, full goatee with the. But uh, we'll probably do that. And uh, we'll do not auburn, dark brown, eh, a little bit darker. We'll do that. But yeah, welcome, welcome everyone that might might have just tuned in and all. Um, if you're feeling like playing this. Uh, it is now available today for the whole entire public. And, uh, yeah, you can play at any time, at least for this weekend. And once this weekend is done with, uh, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> you're shit out of luck, buddy. Hmm. Trying to figure out. So that's no makeup. So we're going to try and figure out if we won't make up or not. Probably no makeup. Do it with no makeup. Do you want any jewelry? Probably no jewelry either. No jewelry for us. We're gonna be plain Jane here. Markings? Okay, so this is body markings. We'll probably have that. That's like a... Hmm. Nothing on the face. Oh, I guess we can't really choose if it's gonna be on the face or not. See, that's kind of like Samoan looking. You can make your dude look somewhat Samoan. It's very interesting. Can we not have markings though? Can we like choose not to have markings? Oh, okay, there's more. Yeah, there's there's another page of markings. That's good. So I was like, I kind of like some of these markings, but I don't want the ones with uh, markings on the face. One of six pages, though. Hmm. Don't mind that one. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. So we got that. We got that one. Say so anything that looks somewhat tribal, I'm probably not gonna, like, won't. <laughs> I'm looking for something a little bit more unique. No. Nope. Uh, that that kind of looks like it's weathered tattoos. Which would actually make more sense to have tattoos that are weathered. Especially on a b person like a barbarian. But then you can have like some super dark tattoos like that. Eh, I don't know. 
what was the one I liked again? Was it? Not that one. Is it that one? Yeah, it's probably that one. All right, inked, bright white. Oh yeah. So we got purple mana. Blue, so you can change the color of it. Fresh blood. Green moss. Hmm. Henna. Why does an inked tattoo just your regular old inked tattoo? Or you just. Wait, what does that do? I don't even know what that button does. Does it even do anything? I don't even think it does anything. Well, yeah, that's our barbarian. Uh, ooh, ooh, you can play it in hardcore mode right away. Well, I shouldn't do that during the beta. Maybe day two I'll do it. <laughs> but I'll be playing day two and day three of the beta, uh, kind of off stream. All right, let's, uh, oh yeah, do they? Yes, they still have the, uh, randomizing of character names. All right. My usual brew tea us or my barbarians. Barbarians are always named that. Oh, they have uh, tutorial references. So I'm guessing the next time you play, like if you make a second character, you could probably do less guidance. So more in depth. Yeah, I would, I'm going to do the in depth version. For my first character because i want to see if they have any new mechanics to kind of look out for so i'll probably do that and um let's see what else is here you can choose the difficulty right away uh world tier one or world tier two so the difference is, is um or at least adventurer Players who are new to Diablo and want to be a light challenge, uh, levels 1 through 50. Enemies are easier to defeat, or you have veteran. Um, players who desire more of a challenge, 1 through 50, levels 1 through 50. Enemies are more challenging. Monsters give 20% increased experience, though. And uh, monsters drop 15% uh, more gold. Well, I'm going to do the veteran difficulty with the second character. So on part two of the peak play, if you want to see veteran difficulty and a different character, I would go there. But let's see like what most people are going to kind of start with at first is adventurer mode. And then we'll check out veteran mode and maybe hardcore mode. <laughs> I don't know. So it's loading the start button or it's trying to get me into a game so yeah with the uh, diablo 4 it's gonna have like open hubs and everything like that too or like you know if you go into a town you'll probably see other people kind of running around and stuff like that i don't know if you'll see other people running around in uh is it starting <laughs> i can't but yeah you'll see other people kind of running around too uh, maybe in the open world as well i'm not too sure though maybe maybe you can set that sanctuary was never meant for humankind. It was forged as a refuge from the war between the high heavens and the burning hells. Instead, it became a new battleground in this eternal conflict. A secretive group called the Haradrim has kept mortals safe. But now this once powerful order is a husk of what it was. And Sanctuary's ancient creators have returned to claim the hearts of humankind. This is the story of their downfall. Man, your character's in the cutscene and all that too? That's really cool.
should find oh, snap. shelter before I freeze. Wait a minute. <laughs> that voice sounds really familiar. Is that Liam O'Brien? <laughs> Is who's voicing the freaking barbarian? <laughs> who's who's that voice? That sounds very familiar. But yeah, welcome to the open beta, officially everyone. Um no more closed well, closed open beta. You know, halfway open. No more no more of that. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna check out the barb and all that. Oh, oh, I noticed there's no dodge button anymore for console users. So they don't have a dodge. They have. It's like up on D pad gives you. Greetings. There's an emote. There's emoting. Full on life. So, oh, yeah, my healing looks to be on my L1. <gasps> And that's about it. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Circle did something. There is a dodge. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a... It's a weird little dodge. Oh, yeah. So far... Combat's a little bit more methodical in, in the beginning. Everything has intention. When we strike at an enemy, it will hit. <laughs> Should clear up when the storm is past. So these are wargs. These aren't wolves. They don't have the whole uh, fog of war on the map, though. Speaking of map, do they still have the whole two types of maps? Oh, okay, here. Oh, there is a fog of war. Okay, just I guess in a certain section that you're in. It's not fogged. Um. Oh, there's an ability tree. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can see up to level 33. I think the beta, you're level capped at, I think they said 20. But yeah, these are, this is a different type of, yeah, skill tree. And they brought back Paragon. I can't check out the Paragon, but I see Paragon. Paragon, level 50. I wonder if that's the max for Paragon though, level 50. Paragon and Diablo 3 didn't have a level cap until, well, you we couldn't count anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so you have equipment, slots, consumables. Wait, consumables, do they have their own, like, area? They have a quest item area and aspects. Okay. Then you can check out profile, which... Oh, here it is. It took a little bit of time. So current equipment, title, clan. Wait, they're, they're going to have clans in this game? Interesting. Oh, if they're going to have clans in this game, are they going to have, are they going to try and redo PvP? Because PvP and Diablo 3 wasn't really, you know, it was, it existed, but no one really did it. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> no one really cared for uh, PvP. <laughs> <laughs> it's like PvP and games like Diablo and all that. It's like no one really asked for it. <laughs> it's not the type of game that had PvP, you know. I'm kind of hoping they're not making. I wonder what the clan stuff is for then. If it's not for PvP, I'm wondering what's the main uh, reasoning behind PvP. The game looks great though. Another abandoned town. Demons everywhere. Fangs in the dark. Gah! He bit me! What? Careful. He's a wild one. Hey, you guys need help? 
What's going on here? What's it to you? Oswen, hush! I'm sorry, Wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons spilling from the ruins. Kill us all. Kill us all. Ruins? What is he talking about? Can't tell if that's Liam or Brian. I'm going to have to look up who voices characters in Diablo 4. Man, it's really close to Liam. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. Armor vendor. Who's this? Healer? Clint? <clears throat> uh, what is this place? special about our little town, but it's home. Oh, that's it. <laughs> what about the monk? We'll do what we can for him. Might have to keep him in the shed for now, though. He tried to bite off Oswin's fingers. Hmm. It isn't safe here. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? I'll try. We have nowhere else to turn. No one should live in fear. I will cleanse the old ruins of evil. Truly? Oh, thank you. Uh, it might not be Liam, though, because there's a... I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to look... Ah, here we go. So let's go to the abilities. So we are level one. Technically, I guess now level two. So... Basic skill deals damage and all that. So we can unlock... Where did that come from? Um, not flay, flay the enemy, dealing one damage and inflicting uh, 13 bleeding damage over five seconds. So that's a uh, damage over time. We have frenzy, unleash a rapid flurry of blows, dealing six damage with each pair of hits. Um, if frenzy hits an enemy. Let's see, its attack speed is increased by... Ooh, I think I like that one. I think I've read... That's the same type of, like... I think that's the same type of attack that you have. It's, like, really good, especially if you're doing, like, dual wielding. Hmm... 20% for 3 seconds, up to 60. So it stacks to 60%. Then we have Bash. Generate Fury, 10%. Is that how much? I'm guessing that's how much fury it's gonna generate, not cost. So it generates that amount of fury. So we have bash, bash, enemy of the thing, dealing damage. After bashing an enemy four times, your next bash will stun for 1.25 seconds. And I'm guessing increases to two seconds. Oh, if using two-handed weapon. So you have to use a two-handed weapon for that one. Then you have lunging strike. Let's see, lunge towards and strike. So this will um, reduce distance between you and the enemy, and it'll also do flat damage. So you have flat damage, kind of going, you have a stun, you have a frenzy, and then you have a flay damage over time. Hmm. We'll do this one. We'll go old school um, barbarian. See how we feel about it. And then after that, we can have enhanced frenzy, and then either a battle frenzy or a combat frenzy. You gain 8% damage reduction for each stack of frenzy. So you can use frenzy for tanking purposes or while berserking uh, your other skills gain 5% attack speed for each stack so you can either increase overall attack speed and DPS or you can be a little bit more tanky hmm. I guess it just depends on what we, what we need 
Now let's talk to some of the other characters. Fire's looking good, but I should watch it a little longer to make sure it doesn't go out. You know, stuff. A warm hearth. There are still things to be grateful for in this world. Okay, sweet. So if you exhaust a uh, dialogue, it'll hollow out. I'm sorry, it's a bit cramped. It's still better than a cave. Alenta went a bit deaf last winter. You might need to speak up around her. Right. Don't let Oswin bother you. He's a good man, really. Ooh. Yeah, let's gonna move the uh, camera too, since there's nothing on the top or lift. There's no nothing on the top or lift. I'm trying to. There we go. Everything's a little. Everything's a little whack a bit. There we go. Nothing's in the way. We're good to go. We're fantastico. We're alla mundo. If Devmir is taking up all the space by the fire, just give him a shove. <laughs> give him a shove, as in a shiv to the heart. So we got a healer. Oh, they'll automatically heal us. What's that? Y you say something? Boss's das? Oh, you poor thing. Traveling in this awful weather. Then we have an armor vendor. We can buy a tunic from him or hide pants. Eh, this is Diablo, man. You don't need to buy shit. Except for if you're like, <laughs> oh, maybe you'll buy it for like, I wonder if the Haraja cube is uh, still a thing. Watch out, eh? He's a biter. He's a, uh, how you will say, a biter. You need a wet nurse or something? Peace off. I don't think I can talk to him. Okay. So I notice I have uh, well, I'm in town. two different weapons. Do I have two sets of weapons? Um. Yeah, I have two sets of weapons. I have a two-hander. Hand axes. Yeah, I have two handers. So wait, are there three different sets of weapons? So I have two axes. I have a two-handed sword. And I have a two-handed hammer. Or mace, in this case. Not a hammer, but a mace. So I have a bludgeoning weapon. A... So if I wanted to switch between those weapons... Use the will to open chat. No, oh, okay. No. Do I change my weapon set from... How do I change weapon sets? Unequipped. See, they're all equipped. wonder if they'll tell me. They'll probably just tell me. So I'm a little confused on, like, how to open them. Oh, so instead of having a normal attack now, I go frenzied. So now I frenzy instead of just doing normal attacks, which I kind of prefer. Oh, there's a bear! Oh, look at that DPS, baby. It just rolls. Don't need no heals. Oh, but I bet we don't automatically heal right away. Unless we have a item that can do that for us. I was like they were gonna have to get something that has health regeneration. We got some gloves. Okay. Try and also when you do this it doesn't Oh nice. I like it already. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> Warg. Person charges. 
Oh yeah, those things. Okay, so those come back. Sweet. So in case I do need healing. Wait, that should be picked up automatically, right? <clears throat> or do I need to heal and oh okay. So it it's a little different in Diablo 4. You need to have a uh There's another two-hander. So you need to use your healing potion in order to pick up the charge. Okay, it's good to know. And I could go there, or I could go up here. And be even more curious. Yeah, see, we got pants now, too. Even though I already have pants. Huh. So it it actually changes the proper weapon that needs to be changed. This is interesting. You have three sets of different weapons. What if I just wanted to be like a two-handed berserker? Like an actual, like, turn my actual <laughs> barbarian into like a viking berserker. Two axes in each hand, baby. Ta -da. See, now I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to explore a little bit of everything. So I don't know how the loot system works with uh, Diablo 4. I wonder if there's actual, like, random legendaries and certain things, or do you actually have to work for a legendary? Unlike, because with Diablo 3, for anyone that's played Diablo 3, legendaries, they kind of just spat out legendaries like no fucking tomorrow. <laughs> and just, like, legendaries... Like, what's the point in getting legendaries, like, all the fucking time? And it's like, aren't... Wouldn't that just turn a legendary into a common? <laughs> Legendaries and like rares and all that are supposed to be rare. I miss the day. I miss those days of like video games. When rares were actually fucking rare. <laughs> and I'm kind of hoping they bring that back with like Diablo 4. Like if something's going to be considered rare, it better be fucking rare. And people better be excited to pick that shit up. Like, when I'm picking up, like, 20 rares in the past two hours, I'm going to be a little sad. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping whatever I pick up in the future is going to be that way. See, this is just a common. In one second, I'm going to have to reprimand uh, Freya for barking outside. Give me a second. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> I thought I heard Freya barking, but I guess she kind of went right back inside the house. Like, they probably... It's like they can feel it in their gut. It's like, oh, oh, Vince is getting out of his chair. <laughs> now, yes, I noticed what I did was pretty dangerous to, like, leave Diablo running. <laughs> I can just con constantly going. So, okay, now that I did that, I'm going to do Enhanced. So if I do Enhanced, will it be considered Enhanced now? Or do I have to equip that? No, Refund. Oh, you can Refund. I wonder if future Refunds will cost money. Maybe Refunds in the beta doesn't cost you anything, but in, like, the actual game game, when they do release it, it's going to cost you something. Makes me wonder. Attack speed, baby. I 
if we're gonna berserk, we might as well actually do it properly. Get some bloodlust going on. Oh shit. Ah, oh, so that's how we're gonna teach you how to evade. Oh, oh shit. gonna heal just yet because I see something in the next room they have the healing wells they still have this cool I knew it I'm not gonna waste a healing item oh they have a blue ring around their health bar for their shield I'm guessing shielded and armored enemies are going to have stuff like that. Get some. I am gonna have to have something eventually that will hit much harder. Oh, weapon mastery. Kill an enemy with the two with Oh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to double check to see challenges and stuff. So weapon mastery challenges. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, is that a is that like a rare enemy? Elite? Is this an elite? I got my first two blue items. So we got a hammer that is two-handed. This adds to two-handed bludgeoning. So got a tunic. Hmm. And yeah, they do have a compare feature too. There you go. So it's a magic gloves. Take that one. Magic pants. So you have item powers. Alright. Like it so far. Oh, and there's your other follower. Has a lot more health. So, just in case I want to put a point in, just kind of go in this corner real quickly. And then I can go down here. Core skill, spend resource to... Okay, so that's core skill. Don't have to spend anything there, but... Oh, whirlwind! Spin to win! Rapidly attack uh, surrounding enemies. That's six damage. Wow, we got it. We're, we're going to try and make a classic barbarian and see how well it works so gotta have to do that gotta, just gonna have to so that would be my yes fury uh but you need a lot of fury for that all right cool <laughs> i'm down four Build up that fury for the spin to win. Sweet. Spin to win all your life. <laughs> Looks like we went full circle. So now we'll go more north where the blood is. Looks like once you use a, a healing well, it stays unplenished for quite some time. Well, maybe until you get back to this area. Spin to win! 
Too bad they don't last longer. Uh, if I want to utilize that a little bit more. Fallen! These dudes. Hey, no, no magic. Oh, oh, was he resurrecting? Don't tell me they brought those guys back. Resurrecting motherfuckers. <laughs> that, that just gives me some, like, PTSD from, uh, <laughs> Diablo 2, man. Diablo 2 had, like, that was a problem. <laughs> Freaking resurrecting motherfuckers. So don't you tell me. Wait a minute. Was that a yellow? No, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, was that a yellow? Say, like, nope, nope, never mind. We're good. We're not yellow. Orange. Yeah, get some. I'm enjoying this so far. This is the core mechanics. The core feel of the combat is like, yeah, this feels like Diablo. Yeah, this this feels like a straight up Diablo game with the, the way I want to feel it. that up spin to win <laughs> I heard an enemy is this it's not quite it might be over here spin to win Oh, yeah, I need a... Challenges Fury Frenzy. 36 out of, uh... 100... Wait, 130? I've already been doing it, apparently. So there's challenges for certain abilities that you use? Nah, I'm not gonna use that until I really need to. But it might not hurt to use it. Because I might not be back here. Has that classic healing sound. I'm glad they never changed that sound, though. Oh, what happened? Oh, from the opening cutscene. Or, is it the same pillars? I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. Oh. Not ready yet. Get some. Get some, motherfucker. I must wait. Fury. I'm not ready yet. Ow. Where are you going, little bitch? Ooh, ooh. First, uh, either boss or mini boss. No, oh, now I gotta check all my equipment that I just picked up. Better two handed hammer. 
on that. Nothing good on that one. Starting to slowly fill our items with blue items. And that's pretty much... So if I compare these two... Eh, okay, so one does critical strike, which is... This one does critical strike. The other one gives willpower, which I don't think I need willpower, so... Do that one. Oh, unlocks new look on salvage. Wait, new look? Are they saying that there's transmogification in the game? If that's the case... Ooh-wee! Transmogification is right up my alley. I would like to know. <laughs> it's like, hey, if there's transmogification... That would be kinda cool. What's this? Oh, I, I went up. Pants. So wait a minute, if I, can I go back down? Oh, I can't go back down. Well, dang it. <laughs> Okie dokie, I'm back in town. I killed a bunch of demons and stuff. Mm -hmm. Gotta protect yourself out there. I'm gonna sell some things that I might not need anymore, so have at it. Just for the gold. Eventually I'll start breaking things down. I, you know what I should do? I'm gonna keep the ones that have the whole uh, new look thing. So maybe I should have done that. <laughs> and it's only a beta, so I'm not too worried about it, but... Oh, here it is. Let's check this out. So this is a uh, challenge weapon mastery. So we got a summary. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Cla classes, a barbarian class, which we've done that one. Reach level fifty as a barbarian. So yeah, this is like overall things to do within the game. So you got that stuff. You have druid stuff. So you have classes, you have crafting, you have general stuff with collecting iron and silver. Collect various herbs. Hmm, is there herbology in the game? Oh, fucking Twitch, man. Ah, oh, god damn it, Twitch. Like, YouTube updates, but Twitch didn't update. Diablo 4. Sometimes I hate Twitch. It'll, like, half halfway update it. And I don't understand why they do that sometimes. This is why I only play one game per stream half the, most of the time. Because they do that shit. It's like, it doesn't really matter anyway, because I don't really give a shit. <laughs> But I just hate it when, you know, mechanics and on a website, like, halfway works. But yeah, whatever. It, it's Twitch. I'm, I'm, I, I should have expected them to only update the, just the title. <laughs> hmm. Exploration. Oh yeah, we got hardcore challenges, too. General. Enemies. So, ooh, maybe I shouldn't read this. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't read any of those. <laughs> those. Those look like, um, you know, things. <laughs> oh, I, wait. How am I seeing, um, how am I seeing my Blizzard friends? Oh, it's because I have my Twitch, not my Twitch, but I have my Sony account connected to my Blizzard account. So that's why I can see my Blizzard friends, which I don't have a lot of Blizzard friends. <laughs> I just don't. And let's see. Don't have anyone on the console playing. Wait, so you have friends less from Blizzard. You have your console friends if they have the open beta, which no one has the open beta. Uh, local players and clan members. So there is a going, going to be a clan system. Speaking of clan system, I can either join a clan system or we can create a clan system. 
survive and conquer through a clan of your own. Let's create that. So we have a clan tag. Uh, description. PVE, casual, hardcore. <laughs> it's like casual, hardcore. We do leveling and social. <laughs> Um, hopefully that's just optional. It looks like it's optional. Uh, you know what, we'll wait until the game comes out. At least I know I can make clans. So we have that. Pre yeah, oh, there's a pre-order button right there. <laughs> it's like, just in case you like the game, pre-order our damn game. Uh, anyone has anything new to say? They would probably tell you. Yeah, I was going to do something before I talked to anyone. So. Let's see. Unlock. How do you salvage? That's the thing I want to know. If I want to salvage this. Oh. These will keep you safe. Is there a button for the... No. Oh, I bet, there... I bet we have to wait for a blacksmith. The old ruins are clear. Your town should be safe now. Truly? Ha! Huh. By the light, you are heaven sent! Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we haven't any coin to offer. But we have hot stew, good company, and... Stay for a pint. Wash out the taste of the stew. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be honored if you'd join us. Party time! <laughs> uh oh. Did we get drugged? Interesting. So what are they plan on doing? so much blood is that just wax or is that something else by mother's blood by mother's body so uh, shall you witness her glory before you die <laughs> Uh, no 
not ready yet. They're coming! The whole damned village! Get up! Get up! We have to fight our way out! There! Take them! Uh-oh. Is that the fight that village that we just saved? I need more fury. What? Let's try and get this guy out of here. So who are you? Madman. Those heretics drugged me after I returned from the ruins. Just like you. I came oh. to my wits and escaped. Tried to get inside the chapel, but it was locked and... Ooh. Yeah. Just had to pick something out. What manner of evil is this? Petals? Of blood? They... they must have fed them to me. Oh... A blasphemous ritual. How did they learn this? Perhaps the answer lies in the chapel. They kept it locked up for a reason. The key might be on that woman who was leading them. Some more of the XP. <sighs> so, since this town was filled with a bunch of evil people, now what? Oh. Darkness in this place. Have a look inside, but hurry. I will prepare the torch. Mm -hmm. So we have to burn the evil. Blood petals. Like the ones I was fed. Oh. Is this real? I see a symbol there and everything. Oh. This is like a memory. granted you a path to salvation <laughs> and yet you stray from it at every opportunity you drink and gamble you covet and steal shameful But in you, 
The faith has taught you to deny your heart's desire and turned you into a prisoner within yourself. Break the chains and discover who you were meant to be. Break the chains and be beautiful in sin. your child into this world. Fuck. To thank hmm. the light. It was a dream, but a memory at the same time. Looking for the town priest. He stopped sending tithes, and I came to find out why. As I neared the village, I sensed darkness around the ruins. I went to investigate, found the priest's body. Demons. Foolishly, I took shelter in the Vesk and ate their food. You know the rest. Hmm. You collapsed inside. I thought that darkness had swallowed you. I dragged you here and put this cursed place to the torch. What happened to you in there? I saw a, a vision. A horned demon. She said the lords of hell are coming. She wanted to help the people survive. Help them. She called them her children, and they welcomed her like mother. Mother? No. It cannot be. I must report to the cathedral. Listen, there is a hermit to the northeast, a man of questionable loyalty, but he knows of the forbidden. He might be useful to us. Bring him to the cathedral in Kyovashad, and you will be in the light's favor. Mm. Ooh, do we get a trinket? Cool. So I'm going this way. Just kind of seeing. Hmm. So there's little cliffs and all that. Stuff within trees. They whoa, what is this? Altars of Lilith are a hidden all over sanctuary, a permanent stat boost to all characters on this realm? What? Interesting. Really interesting, this is weird. Oh, they have suggested levels for certain areas. Well, so Desolate Highlands level four. Okay, so this whole entire region is at least you have to be at least level four for this area. Okay, cool. 
Cellar. Cellars are small chambers and contain a wide range of contents. Okay. Well, can't just skip it. Might as well check it and see what's in here. What's in the cellar? What's in the box? Oh. Yes. Well, we leveled up, and I think we're in a safe place too. Put a point in. So, what are we gonna put that point into, though? Expertise. What? What does the expertise do? Kill monsters and increase uh, rank of your weapon and unlock better so on and so forth. So do wielding arsenal ranked in. So how do you level those up? Oh, do techniques don't techniques don't seem to unlock until level fifteen. Hmm. Progress. What? 105 out of 15,000? Holy shit, is that by XP or is that something else? <laughs> That's gonna take forever to get the level 1 for like, what, dual wielding? <laughs> shit. Uh, spin to win. Put more points in the spin to win. Let's check the map. So if there's anything actually like worth exploring, it would probably show it, right? What are these symbols? I don't know, maybe I don't know. Gloves. Yeah. <laughs> So, since I actually, you know, now that I've been kind of thinking about it, oh wait, I hear someone else walking around. Maybe that's just background noise. Could just be background noise. Oh, no, that's not background noise. <laughs> that's people. Since I was kind of thinking about it though, if I go to the social and for for instance I want to have like them join me and if they're on PC is there a cross players not in game is there I wonder if there is it, it would seem like this game would has would have some cross platform play maybe not for Xbox and PlayStation but for PlayStation and PC I can see it having cross compatibility. Also, I don't know if this game has like shared screen or split screen, but I kind of hope so, so that way Lara and I can play at the same time. Because we don't want to buy two PlayStations to do that. That would uh, be a waste of money. <laughs> Just saying. We oh yeah, see that wasn't on the map. So I need to go in other regions and all that, just a short-term power increase. Girl. Girl. Cool. Alright, so you do want to kind of explore the, uh, area to kind of get some trinkets here and there. Oh, snow bear! Yeah, yeah. I'm low on fuel. Oh shit, he's gonna kill me. Oh, 
short sword. Oh, you know what I need? I need a leap. Some type of leaping abil ability. So if I... My next point, if I'm able to, I'm going to try and invest in some type of leap. So that way I can get in and out of conflict whenever I need... Because, um, at least with Diablo, I like to make characters that have, like, you know, damage, you know, your, pretty much your damage button, an escape, or go into combat button, and, um, I don't know, some other stuff, like debuff and buff. So I probably need to invest in a debuff and, or a buffing option. Probably like a shout. Shouting is always good. I don't know. This Diablo, though, might be completely different. I might not want to do that. I might not want to invest in shouting, depending on what I want to build. Oh no, spiders! Ew. Ew. Get out of here. Nasty spiders. Don't have enough fury. Get out of here, spiders. Nasty ass spiders. He's trying to get me in there. Hammer. Man, they better introduce me to a new uh, vendor soon. Is that? Was that? I'm out of fury. Did I just see spiders controlling a corpse? The fuck did I just look at? Oh, there's a climb. Yeah, they said something about having more verticality in uh, Diablo Four. So that's really cool. I'm low on fuel. Really? This is being low on fury shit. Yeah, they're corpses and they blow up when uh, destroyed. See if any of this is good. Uh, that, that. Got a better long sword. Mm, better two hander. Mm, axe is pretty much the same. Mm, and that's just willpower. Oh, yeah, that's the whole. Things like that. We got a quest item? Or we did. I don't know. Not anymore. I wonder if there's a way to increase, instead of just having four healing items, you could have more? There probably is. Some Somewhere in the future, you could probably start upgrading things, upgrading capacities and stuff like that. Stranger Tunic. There's a club. 4% overpower damage. Why not? Oh, it's not that great. Ain't not that great. Berries. Harvesting. Herbs and ore can be found throughout the game. So on and so forth. So artisans. Ah, oh, so there's legitimate harvesting in this game. Very interesting. Or if you have to hunt. Mm. Who knows? 
Maybe we will need need bones in the future. Furs and stuff. Heavy boots. Gallo vine. You can kill him, but there's no reason to. <laughs> you can't harvest the you know, animals, so there's no reason to kill the animals. I just wanted to test it out. Now that I know, I probably... Ew, ew, ew. Strider. This is how I usually explore um, Diablo games for the first time. I just kind of go out on the outside and work my way. <laughs> here. Hola, como estas? Herbs, mushrooms, or organs? Not for cooking. What are you hiding back here? Sick. Oh, there's a there's some blood on the ground. Short fangs. Young. Freshly turned. An easy kill. Further south than the others. They're spreading. That voice sounds familiar too. Hmm, is there anything else I need to interact with? Strange skull. There we to join me for supper. I'm bloody hungry. That's quite the story. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. Why did I have that vision? Thank those friendly villagers. They gave you the blood of Lilith. The blood of a demon? Not just any demon. The daughter of hatred. The mother of sanctuary. She was banished ages ago. But this world is her creation. It was prophesied she would come back. What does she want? That's the question. Sanctuary has always been trapped amid the eternal conflict. A war between angels and demons. But Lilith serves neither side. She has her own plans for us. And me? Am I corrupted? Not sure yet. But you two share a connection. What will you do about it? Use it. Find out what she's after. Good. Then we're in this together. Rest while you can. Then we'll start in Kiovashad. If we can't stop Lilith, we'll all be damned. All right. Cool. Oh, is he, a, is he a follower for now? Hmm. Some better boots. 
spider boots. Let's see, my inventory is already halfway filled, so I'm kind of worried about that. All right, yeah, just keep going this way then. Yes, um. I think I know the actor that uh, voices Loreth. The angel in Arius. I'm sure you've heard the cathedral. I think he's the same actor that was in Vich. Well, he's real. An angel walks among us. I forgot what his name was. When he learns that Lilith is here. Blood will flow. They are ancient enemies. They'll drag the whole damn world into their feud unless we can stop it. Hey, he's also the guy that I think um He overshot lies just ahead. Voices the Green Knight. So the movie The Green Knight, if you ever saw at least a trailer or something like that, you would instantly know the voice. <laughs> Oh, so we got a town town. Enter the city. You must we have no time for this. <sighs> to enter Kiobashad, you must perform a cleansing ritual. It's a meaningless gesture, but some people take comfort in it. How dare you? Just let him through, lad. I've tried for years to get Lorath to do the ritual. Fine, but this one stays. I'll meet you inside. So wait, do I have to do the ritual? Take a piece of holy cedar wood from the shrine and inscribe it with the sin which troubles you. Then cast it into the brazier. As the fire burns the wood, so too will the light burn away your sin. Well, I guess as a barbarian it would probably be wrath, right? Wrath would uh Plague us the most. Fear, greed, pride, anger. I wonder if this will make a difference. Fear, pride, to anger. Alright, I guess that's what I need to do. <laughs> Good. You must feel as though a great weight has been lifted from you. Oh, really? Welcome to Kyovashad. Just did it because I was told to. Oh, yeah, I can probably talk to the lady over up there. You know Loreth? Well, a man that old has lived through some dark days. Explains why he's so cross. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we are in a city now. Whoa, what the hell? Was that lag or was that something else going on? First of many. Maybe I had to load things up. That was weird that it pulled me through. What did you write on a little piece of wood? Something about hate or anger, perhaps? Well, it matters little, I suppose. How do you know? I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your vision. I must know what part he plays in all this. 
But first, I need you to retrieve something of mine while I finish my negotiations. A merchant in the center of the city has it. Just tell him I sent you. Hmm. Sacrificing. Summoning demons. Honing all the wonderful gifts that Lilith gave them. The cathedral loves to go on about him. His imprisonment in hell, his valiant escape, his glorious return here, the world he created. But they never mention how being tortured in hell for a few millennia turned you into an ass. <laughs> so was it prophesied? There was a prophecy, yes. It foretold the rise of the prime evils, the return of Lilith and Inarius, the doom of our world. Inarius adopted the prophecy for his own selfish purposes, put it in the Cathedral of Light's gospel, and made it seem like he would be the hero to save us. Okay, a stables master. Ooh, oh, limited access. Let's see, prior. Progress the campaign and complete uh, Mount Donan's favor to access the map. Okay, so we have to progress the, the actual main story. So I guess that's not locked. Sorry back. Cloudy eyes. Oh. Just put things practically grown right. Find somewhere else to get warm. I was here first. Is that an herbalist over here? Get us hot. What do you need? Huh. Tiny healing potion. Level 10. Then we have... Oh, do you upgrade your healing potions with uh, things you pick up through the world? So yeah, it's upgrading of potions. Elixirs. We can make elixirs. Hmm. Increase armor by 50 points, thorns by 25, and experience by... Oh, hey, this increases your experience. Ooh. I'll make one of them. Ah, uh, me too. So I wonder how I'm going to be able to consume that during combat. And then we have crafting materials, which we can buy from her. Hmm. So now that we made elixir... A bunch of things. Oh, we can pin location too. So just pinning of locations. We can also filter, so in case we don't want to see certain things like events and stuff like that. We can uh, hollow them out. Center on player. Can you zoom for a chance? Oh, yeah, it's already automatically zoomed in. Holy shit. Oh, there's the dress stamps. So yeah, they have a whole little continent. Well, kinda. Hmm. So yeah, there's a lot to explore. Hmm, healer. Found the new boil on my hand that it, that mixed 17 so far. More boils, huh? Hey, can we pet the dog? Gotta be able to pet the dog. There's gotta be a way to I pet the dog. do that here. Give me a... Give me a... Give, why is there no pet the dog button? <laughs> There's no pet the dog button in Diablo. Come on. You're gonna show a dog. You're gonna have to give me the reason to pet the dog. Yeah, I'm making sure I'm not missing out on like shouts. Pressure point. Lucky hit. Ten percent chance to make enemies vulnerable for two seconds. Upheaval. Double swing. And then endless fury. Hmm. Oh, two handed weapons though. And then, oh, there's Rend. I remember that attack. 
I wonder if Shout is coming up soon. There's Ground Stomp, which is Smash the Ground dealing. No, it's not a jump. Rally Cry. Ah, there it is. Rally Cry. Hello, Rally Cry. Increasing movement speed and resource generation by 50%. Nearby allies. No, okay. So we got that one. We have Iron Skin. And then we have Challenging Shout. Taunt nearby enemies and gain 40% damage reduction. So that's also a good one too, but it looks like we're probably going to go the route of Rallying Cry. And then you can kind of upgrade it and change it. Enhance Rallying Cry. Grants you unstoppable while active. And Tactical Rallying Cry and so so forth. Yeah, we're, we'll have to look at that some other time. Enhanced Whirlwind. Hmm. Then we gotta figure out which whirlwind we want. Do we want violent whirlwind after using whirlwind for two seconds? Uh whirlwind deals a 30% increased damage until it is cancelled. Or while using a slashing weapon, so there has to be at least a slashing weapon within the hand. Um Rowan also inflicts 20% of its base damage to bleeding over 5 seconds. So I could do bleeding over time, or I could do violent whirlwind. I'd probably do violent whirlwind. Because there's going to be enemies in the future probably that don't even bleed. So it would turn out to be useless after a certain point in time. Uh... Oh, you can read the uh, boards. Ah, oh, here we go. Salvaging. And talk to these guys. So I can talk. Let's see. Salvage. Came apart nicely. So when we salvage, Sam, I'm guessing that goes towards uh. It definitely goes towards, uh... Future... Future looks and all that. Let's see. Because you can repair... Hmm. Doesn't seem like anything needs to be repaired. Yeah, durability is pretty good. Yeah, it would tell me if I had anything to repair. Yeah, I have a feeling there's like some type of transport modification system. They just haven't introduced it yet. Hmm. So. Yeah, he can salvage. So that's the salvage, repair. And I'm guessing he can upgrade sometime in the future too. But that's currently locked. So the old man's finally decided to buy it back. Knowing him, he didn't mention coin, did he? <laughs> if he wants his weapon, you will need to pay. How much? Loras. Oh, only 20. That's not bad. Wait. Sure. The old man sold me this too. He said he didn't need it anymore, but I think he'd want it back all the same. Well, no charge. Wait a minute. I just noticed on the, like, underneath my, where, where I'm scrolling through right now, there's gold, and then there's two other um, currencies that I'm really hoping are premium currencies. Uh, I really hope that's not the case. Hopefully gold is your primary currency. You only need to use gold in the game. Unless it's something for magical purposes. Oh, yeah, he's still talking to me. Uh, strange amulet. Which is a quest item. Cannot be sold. Crazy ass wind. 
Ah, apologies. He also gave me this amulet. What is it? The mark of the Haradrim. An ancient order of scholars and mages. Sworn to protect sanctuary from demons. These days, we are few in number. There is another Haradrim. Donan. His breadth of knowledge about demons is equal only to his hubris. Sounds like he could help us. Mm. You should seek him out in Skosglein. But don't forget about the Cathedral. They'll be expecting you, and they might prove to be useful allies too. You're not coming with me? I'm going to the Dry Steps to find out who that pale man is. Join me when you can, just... Be careful. Your ties to Lilith, the visions you see, you are the key to finding her and stopping whatever she has planned. Mm. Sometimes our paths in life are set to collide. We just don't know it. Whether it is by accident or fate's hand, there is nothing we can do about it. The wanderer lost in the storm, fed the blood of Lilith, saved by a lone monk. Different lives and incidents drawn together. By what? Destiny? Or some greater power pulling the strings? I did not know. But at the time, I thought I had the chance to protect humanity from the Daughter of Hatred. The Wanderer's connection to her gave me hope. <laughs> Imagine that. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so that's a teleport back button. Cool. Oh, there's other people. Ah, you can customize things. You can invite people to parties. Inspect. So if I inspect people. Hey, stop that. Oh shit, that's their per that's their character. Alright. Look to uh heroic like I just noticed my character kind of looks like Kratos, like young Kratos. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, I don't mean them. don't mean to have him look like young Kratos, but hey. Oh, if I want to find those, I guess I could just track them. Hmm, why can't I track that one? This quest cannot be progressed in this version of the game. Oh no! Oh, because it's Act 2. And then you have Act 3. Unlocking waypoints. Oh, waypoint. Activate the waypoint in. Oh. Let's do that real quickly. There we go. Waypoint unlocked, motherfuckers. So you got campaign stuff. Didn't you have uh you have other things too though? So exploring sanctuary. Earn renowned by completing uh, various activities across the continent. Obtaining renown will grant rewards and certain threat Yeah, and certain thresholds via the status of your renown. For each region, so each region has its own renown. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, looks like someone's level 21. Well, if someone's level 21, the level cap is not 20. I wonder if the level cap for the beta is like 30-something. Why what they showed. Ooh. Let's do some side missions first. See what the side missions are. 
like in um Diablo. You seem concerned. Yes, well, Bozan has yet to return from delivering our tithing demands to Menistad. Perhaps you could sweep the roads and see what's taking him so long. The cathedral must receive its dues. Alright. We'll try and start up a few of the side missions. So we'll do a few side missions and a little bit more of the main mission, then I'll try and start the second character uh, sometime soon as well. Try and... Uh, Look at the wardrobe stash. So yeah, there's a couple more things I need to look at before uh before I uh end this part of the peak play. So first things first, let's pick up one more side mission. For a hundred generations. Hell itself imprisoned Father Inarius, but they could not break him. He cast off his infernal shackles and returned to us. And now he will guide the faithful along the path of deliverance. And it makes me wonder if Inarius is the Pell dude. Ah, here we go. So we have Adventure, we have Veteran, we have Nightmare, and then we have Torment, which is recommended for only level 70 plus. Then you have 5270 for Nightmare. Let's change it to uh, Veteran. Let's kind of level up a little faster too while we're at it. The new militia recruits have been training night and day. Actually, I was going to say that for Druid. <laughs> Mind giving them a cheer for me? Easy coin for you, a boost of confidence for the recruits, and I get to go on being the hard ass. Everybody wins. I'll handle it. A what? Hmm. Actually, yeah, we'll save that for the druid, because I still want to see, like, how slow the leveling system is when it comes to, uh, Why is it doing that? Is that phasing? Are we phasing? What the hell? The new militia recruits have been training night and day. They deserve a little praise. But I can't let them see me as soft. Skip. Mind giving them a skip. So new recruits. I'm guessing I'm going through here. So Greetings. I'm guessing what we want to do is cheer, right? One second. I need to. I can't do that here. I can't do that here. Zoom. Wait, zoom. Oh, they have a little zoom button. Enchant, invite. Can I put something in the. Here we go. Sorry, help. Hello. Wait, wave, cheer. Cheer. Cheer's the thing they want me to do. Sign to that. Save changes. Brutal. I like it. Hello. There we go. I can't do that here. Thanks. I hope they don't get used to it. Well, they're trying to just get me used to uh, emoting, I guess. <laughs> it's not really important. Herb cash. Oh shit, might want to take that. I don't know if anyone else can pick that up, but yeah. Hey, is that our first rare? I guess they give you a rare right off the back. Okie dokie. Let's see. Oh yeah, wanted to, um, hmm, 
Let's see, do we want to do Battle Fear Frenzy or this one? Combat Fury. Damage reduction. Damage reduction. We'll do that. Okay. So. So that's being tracked. Okay, and I'm not tracking the main story stuff. Alright. I was wondering. Oh. <laughs> so if I'm lost, I want to track wherever this goes. If I want to pin a location, I'll pin right here. So we kind of know the general direction. So we'll do that real quickly. This will be the last side mission for now, just to kind of see how the side different variation, you know, variants of side missions and what to look kind of look out for. Yeah, I mean we're probably at least hour to maybe even almost three hours in. Oh, I do have to say though, the the phasing between like town or. Something like that is not very smooth when it comes to the online stuff. So I'm kind of wondering if there's any way. Hmm, I am I am wondering if there's any way to like play this game without. Oh shit! Online. He is so strong. Holy shit. I might not survive this. This is fucking hard. That's no fucking joke. What are those? Why is that so hard? <laughs> oh, durability goes down, of course. What is that? It's an, oh, it's an event nearby. Oh, I need to be at least level six. And am I level six? I think I am level six, right? I'm trying to remember how you check your character. Yeah, I'm level six. I should be able to do it. <laughs> Maybe I'm under geared. I might be a little under geared. That was difficult. <laughs> the fuck? I'm not even on the hardest. I'm not even on the hardest difficulty. You don't have enough fury. Yeah, I'm probably a little under geared here. So investigate oh I should probably investigate the road. Bearer of Lilith's blood. She will have your soul. Who's talking? Who talking? Who dat? <laughs> I do like the environment. The environment looks really nice too. What the hell is that? 
Oh, hey, we did our first mining. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a feeling I need to explore just a little bit more. Oh, oh, is that it? You posing the monk? Indeed I am. My god, Tarlin tried to choke the life out of me. All I could do before I lost consciousness was go over the cliff. I need to return to Kuyovashad and request a night escort. Please, take the tithing demands to the merchant lord, Taugun, in Menestad. <laughs> Path of Exiles. Man, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, though, when Path of Exile 2 comes out, uh, it does make me wonder if, like, how many people are going to like Path of Exile 2 compared to Diablo 4, because a lot of people compared, like, Diablo 3 to Path of Exiles, and more people, I think more people, the majority of people enjoyed Path of Exile more than Diablo 3, even though I kind of liked both, but I kind of, I, I kind of veered towards more of Diablo 3. So, yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's interesting. Kind of think about it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I'm still worried about the whole battle pass for this game. Um, I'm, that's what make, makes me worried, since I can't really look into what the, the battle pass actually does for Diablo 4. I'm still a little worried about this game, so even though I'm enjoying playing Diablo 4 right now, how's it going to be when you get to end game? You know, is there are you gonna be, you know, cock blocked by battle passes and other stuff like that? What 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 am I needing to look out for when this game does come out? So I'm a little I'm still worried. I am so very grateful. I will need to make the necessary arrangements. Please, excuse me. Yeah, so... How did this happen? I shouldn't be holding this in my hands. It should be. Restraint, my hmm. lord. Restraint. Ah, yes. Of course. Carry on, Isti. Ooh, yeah, this is another waypoint. So let me go back to see how the fast traveling is. I travel between towns. So yeah, I'm 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 enjoying the uh, barbarian so far. The uh, the random events that happen are tough. <laughs> I've only did I tried one of them and it was a doozy. <laughs> I felt it, but um, yeah, I just need to keep tackling it. Maybe I'll eventually beat it. So yeah, you got total as Yeah, here's the aspects thing. So if I wanted to unlock aspects, what do I need to do? That's rogue. This is uh, aspect of the retribution. Distant enemies have a 15% chance to be stunned for two seconds when they hit you. You deal 30% increased damage to stunned enemies. Progress campaign in Kazakhstan uh, to unlock. Oh, so you do unlock certain things. Show only my class. Ah, uh, here we go. There we go. So these are the aspects of uh, the Berserker. Or bar Barbarian, I mean. <laughs> I don't know why I said Berserker. Thinking of other games. Yeah, Barbarian. Oh, hey, look at that. Bukathos. Aspect of Bukathos. Uh, leap creates an earthquake that deals 28 physical damage over four. So I'm wondering if you have to either equip those or you'll just kind of... Are these like permanent little things? No, you can pin to map. Pin to map? What the fuck, the fuck do you mean by pin to map? Is it like, is that an aspect that I find? Do you find aspects? I guess you find aspects. Apparently, I was able to pin it to the map. The fuck? Where's the pin? <laughs> the pin looks like it goes this way. It's weird. 
I was able to pin the ass back. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing I could do. Yeah, because you can pin them to the map. What in the hell? Yeah, this goes down there, so... Oh! Is that my pin? Yeah! I guess the aspect is at certain points of the game. So you can actually find aspects in this game, which is interesting. I guess there is a physical location to it. Huh. Very interesting. Oh, let's see. Forty, level fifty. So you can see the renown for each section. So fractured peaks has you can get a total of two thousand four hundred and ninety-five renown. There's a total of um seven waypoints. Whatever the what are some of the um Okay, here it is. So we have dungeons, we have strongholds, we have events, which we ran into an event and it was fucking difficult. And then we have whispers of the dead, uh, claimed altars of Lilith, crafters, vendors, and stashes. So that's the only one so far. Wow. Okay. In this area alone, apparently in this area alone, there's 23 dungeons. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to try the dungeons out when I'm a druid uh, in the second half of the stream. Uh, World Tale statue. I wanted to check out a few more things before I'm done with Barb. Hello. I might. I might actually check out one dungeon before I'm done. So let's, let's look at the wardrobe and stash. I was never religious until I saw a miracle. Inarius himself blessed the man with the light, got up and walked again for the first time in years, right then and there. The light is real, my friend. Take comfort in it. Hmm. Whatever you say, lady. Ah, uh, here we go. So wardrobe, what does this do? Is this the transmogrification thing? Changing looks? You can change each item's look and pigments. Uh, note that some looks don't support, uh, I guess, in transmog uh, certain things. So I can modify curtain items. So if I don't like this one, there's a transmogification system. Thank God, and I'm, I'm starting to think that more games are starting to thinking, start to think about just putting mod transmogification in their games. Harry Potter, uh, Hogwarts Legacy had it. This game finally has it because, uh, I mean, Diablo 3 had a transmog system, but it was very limited. So, hey, I'm down with some transmog. Finally. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I pretty much made myself, but as a barbarian, and he turned out to be, uh, Looking like Kratos. <laughs> he made it, it made a little like Kratos. It's like, God damn it, he looks like Kratos. <laughs> and then appearance. You can oh you can still change the appearance. So just in case you don't like oh, you can only change the makeup, jewelry, or the markings. So once you create that face of yours, you better like it. <laughs> you better like your face. Or else you can't change it. Maybe there'll be someone in the future or someone you can go to that changes your cosmetics of uh, facial things. So, stash is here. Wait. Ah, here we go. So, person an additional stash tab to expand your stash capacity by 50 slots. And I notice it's with gold and not some premium douchebag service stuff. So, thank you. I can buy it with gold. <laughs> all right, that's all I wanted to know. I was like, can you increase the stash that you have with your in-game gold? Yes, you can. It's expensive, but you can do it. <laughs> Is it common for devout folk to drink so enthusiastically? <laughs> so I'm glad about that. I, I can't blame them. 
So now what I need to check. I already checked out the stash, the wardrobe. We've already checked out the world tier statue. We've checked out the weapons vendor and the armor vendor. Well, I guess weapon and armor vendor would be pretty much the same. And the blacksmith. Uh, hmm, what's this one? Let's check this person out. <laughs> We've already checked out a healer, which is pretty much just automatically heals you. Uh, speaking of healer, I wonder if they'll charge you. Oh, that makes 17 so far. 17 so far. It's weird to see other people just running around. I do wonder, though, if I want to have the power to change that. For instance, can I change, like, maybe it's under social? Crossplay. Oh, there is crossplay network. So if you're playing this on PC right now, I can play with you fucks. Cool. <laughs> and then I can also communicate between consoles. I mean, yeah, console and PC stuff. So friends come online. Notifications when friends go offline. I don't need that. How's the kid doing? You guys getting any sleep? Um, yeah, she was good last night. She, she let us sleep last night. Uh, she's doing good. Uh, there's no, well, there's no issues or anything like that. So yeah, we're doing good. She's doing good. Yeah, Claire's uh sleeping as much as she as a baby can sleep, and she's feeding well. Yep, she's she's doing really good. <laughs> there, there has been no medical issues or anything like that so I'm Laura and I are pretty happy there are moments though that are uh, frustrating especially off stream uh, where uh, there there will be times where it doesn't feel, it's like we feel like we can't do anything like we can't ease her <laughs> ease her like discomfort and most of the times either she's fighting sleep she's gassy or um she she just you know she just has a gas bubble somewhere either burp style or fart style, <laughs> and by God does Claire fart up a fucking storm? She did it so much this morning, like I'm surprised she wasn't like, you know, crying this morning because of how much she <laughs> she was farting. <laughs> that that baby can fart so much. She puts me and her mom to shame. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is funny <laughs> and yes if claire's watching this in the future i'm gonna be talking about you a lot <laughs> yep <laughs> it's like dad why did you talk about me as a baby farting all the time <laughs> She's gonna hate me. <laughs> Enable quick quick join. Allow friends to join your party without an invitation. Absolutely. You guys can join me anytime. Uh enable display of local network players. Wait. So what is this local network players? Allows you to see other players you on your network who are currently online. These players will be displayed by their battle tag. Disable this feature to prevent both you from seeing other players on your network and them from seeing you. I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn that off because I think those are all the random ass people like kind of wandering around and shit. Are you sure you want to discard them? No. Oh, did I discard them? Did I not save that? Hmm. Controls. Gameplay. Oh, yeah. Speaking of gameplay, is there any other things I need to look at? Accessibility. Social. Okay. Let's go back down here again and see if they saved it or not. No. Boop, boop. Then save. Okay, we saved it. So now I should only see like things that actually should exist on the thing. 
So seeing other players running around kind of breaks the immersion for me. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to check this person out. Is it this person? Take a chance, wanderer. Uh, purveyor of curiosities. This shady vendor gives you a small chance to obtain a valuable item in exchange for murmuring baubles. Oh, okay. So, how do I obtain those? I'm guessing either f through something like rifts or events or something like that. How do you obtain... How do I know how to obtain it? I wonder if someone in the... I wonder if they talked about that. Because they, they haven't really explained how to... Ooh, yeah, I guess some healing through the current pants I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Apparently I cannot scroll through the uh, currency, so I don't know how to obtain it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look it up. It's like, I wonder if, I wonder if they talked about it. Cause there's also a red currency too. So I'm wondering how you obtain those. All right. Anything else? Uh, we've checked out the alchemist. I don't think we can do that yet. There is an occultist. Occultists can extract and imprint aspects. So this is the person you're going to go to to acquire some of the aspects. Oh, unlocked at player level 25 or requiring codex of power. So you need one of the two. Uh, we have rings and amulets and we also have a jeweler. So before I do anything else, I am going to do our first dungeon. Requires level six. All right. That's level six. That's level six. See, this area before used to be a level four. So I have a feeling as you level up, the areas that are at least that were lower level have now also leveled up too. The level requirements at least. So you can never really be truly overpowered in this game unless depending on your build. So depending on how you handle your build will determine if you're overpowered or not. Thus, if you're overpowered, increase your difficulty. So far, I am not overpowered. <laughs> I have a feeling I am going to struggle a lot. <laughs> and there's still some, uh, there's still some issues that you need to iron out in Diablo 4. That was weird. Is that a, that's not a player. I don't have enough <laughs> Blue short sword. Let's try and equip that baby. Ooh, yep, it's good. Hmm. <laughs> That's why I like spin the wind, man. Kill multiple enemies over time. What the fuck is going on here? Ooh. Oh shit, 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 shit. No. Fuck a doodle do. Oh, you motherfuckers. I don't fucking understand. Idol of the Shaman. Okay. I wonder if that was just a random thing you can just kind of, kind of, kind of come across. Okay, got that too.
bite berry. Screw you and your fucking ice. Overseer. The daughter of hatred demands blood. Demands blood. She has a name. She has a name. Immune. Oh. Am I denying her sacrifice? I think I'm denying her sacrifice. No oh, shit. I am denying her sacrifice. But I can't do any damage to her. She's an elite enemy. This is like another event. I just noticed that. <laughs> no. Almost fucked up again. Shit. I must wait. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, she's so pissed. Oh, she's going down. So I have a feeling the more sacrifices she was able to attain, the more, like, the harder she would have be been able to <laughs> be. She would have became a really hard opponent. Oh, yeah, there you go. Obbles, uh are obtained by completing events. So the more events I complete, the more uh, cool shit I can get from the Bavaria Curiosities. Cool, so I, hey, that's another thing I can do without things. So, obbles are not premium currency. That's good to know. I'm happy about that. That's that's another that's more weight off of my uh shoulder. Wait, who the fuck is that? Mei Yang? That's not on my friends list. Who the fuck is that dude? Oh, I need to level up. My gang. So I am trying to figure out what the setting is to turn off uh, random people from joining your overworld. So I thought I did it, but uh social yeah see that person yeah look local players what the fuck I thought I did the thing where I don't see local players enable disable oh display of local network players Huh. Well, that's a, weird, a little weird. Chat bubbles. That's chat settings. Notifications. And crossplay and cross network communications. I don't know. Maybe it's broken. I don't know. Hey, there's another event going on. <laughs> I guess I'll do my, my second event or something. I don't know. What is this? Oh, uh, shit. 
Okay. Oh shit, I'm frozen. I'm frozen! Motherfucker on outside the screen keeps freezing me. I must wait. Come here. Come hither. And die with honor. Alright. Come on, baby. Get some. Is there more of them somewhere? Or am I not having to worry about? Oh. Oh, he leveled up. <laughs> nice. Ah. Nice. So, they, yeah, it looks like. Oh, no. Looks like random people can kind of just join your endeavors. Bellatrix. <laughs> It'd be funny if these are like friends. So that must be the necromancer. So yeah, we're seeing the necromancer at work right now. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm, I swear I'm not following you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing my thing. Trying to get to my first dungeon. I'm not following you. I'm not following. I told you. <laughs> I told you I'm not following you. Oh, is that some random NPC? I just saved his life. Whoa, what the fuck? Corpse bow. It's not creepy at all. All right. First dungeon. Oh. Here's my first dungeon. some loading when it comes to going into dungeons. I wonder how big the dungeons are, if that's the case. Because if there's a loading screen like that, it kind of makes me wonder how big that dungeon <laughs> is. it a big dungeon? <laughs> I wonder if the dungeons are also randomized, too. That would be really cool. That would give you some, uh, um, some longevity when it comes to uh, RNG dungeons and stuff like that. Which I'm glad that uh, dungeons are a thing. Like, give me a reason to play this game long term and all that too. the The events are pretty cool too. Like, you can you can choose to do them if you want. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> I mean, I guess you know because open beta and stuff. Hmm. Well, then, I mean, if for some reason it crashes or we get kicked out and all that, that'll be it for the barbarian side of things. And we'll 
make a druid afterwards and play the druid. Because the one thing that when they were showing off Diablo 4 for the first time is that I saw the druid in action and I was excited. <laughs> so I want to see what the druid looks like again. That'd be really cool. Please let me play. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, are the are the dungeons broken in beta? Am I? Did I do the wrong thing? Did I select the wrong thing? I'm pressing buttons just to make sure. <laughs> maybe maybe there's just a weird like loading thing going on. I'm pretty sure if there's a friend, if someone joined me from my friends list, either from the Blizzard side of things or from PlayStation side of things, they would have probably told me to. So yeah, I think when I'm doing my playthrough for Diablo 4, if there's no major problems with Diablo 4, um, when it comes out, I'll probably keep it to where you can you know do a quick join and all that so you don't have to worry about me inviting you or vice versa I don't know I have a feeling it's uh it's kind of stuck <laughs> I might have to go on to druid that means I'm gonna have to restart the game and I will have to go I have to requeue I don't want to requeue that was a 30 minute wait I don't want to wait another 30 minutes. <laughs> Ugh. That'd be so aggravating. It's like, you kidding me? You kidding me? I'm going to give it another, like, two minutes. But I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure going into a dungeon should not take this long. Let's see if, um, oh god, I, I might regret this. So I'm, I'm probably going to keep this in the peak play too, but, uh, all right, I, I might regret this. <laughs> Shit, I, I probably shouldn't do it. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I just noticed the, uh, frame rate drops dramatically when you go into this menu. Never noticed that. But yeah. Uh-huh. Reduce. And open it back up. And if we get a queue, um, we'll start the second half of the, uh, we'll start the second half of the, uh, peak play. But if we only get a queue, we get a queue. If the queue is super long, 53. Huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I guess we're going on to the, uh, second, um, the second part of the uh, peak play. <laughs>